Yes sir, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy Denali, aka Don Squally. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to turn a set of tan ugly rear seats into a set of matte black dyed seats. Now about three weeks ago, I did a full black interior. Actually, it was last weekend, but by the time you guys are watching this video, it would probably be about three weeks ago. I did a full black conversion on this car. Unfortunately, I was an idiot and for some reason thought that I had a rear set of seats in storage that were black leather. Turns out I had the bottoms to my Infiniti G35 in storage. So I ended up selling the black set of seats that I had out of the donor SER. But this is what the interior looked like before. Very ugly, very tan. These two seats right here are currently for sale. But unfortunately for me, I'm stuck with this taxi cab gray. Uh, rear seat for my Nissan Altima. Now, the thing about this is I'm not 100% sure if this is real, real leather. If it's synthetic leather, then, you know, we can use a little bit more of a rougher technique, uh, which is what I'm going to be showing you guys today. Now, I tried to find some actual dye for these seats, but it was only available online. It was relatively cheap, but I would have had to uh, wait for it to get shipped here, and I'm super impatient. G35 looking fire on those SER wheels though. Um, so what I'm going to do today is show you guys a kind of budget way to die seat. Now what I have here is some Dupla Color vinyl and fabric spray. Now if these were real leather seats, this stuff right here probably wouldn't help. But what I've been reading online is that Nissan uses kind of a faux leather in their cars which doesn't surprise me since you know it's not really an expensive car a nissan um you know it's not like a mercedes or bmw so they just need something that looks the part and is durable so i'm hoping that this stuff is going to do well now from what i've read online certain people have had issues with flaking but i think that's just due to the material that this stuff is getting sprayed on uh so i've got two cans of this i'm hoping that i can get both the back and the bottom done with two cans, which I should be able to. That's quite a lot of paint. Uh, but what I think I'm going to do is take these over here into my little shelter logic. Um, I don't know what you would want to call that garage, I guess. Because I just don't want to get any overspray in here because, well, even though it's not clean, the less junk that I'm doing in here, the less dirty it's going to get. So I'm going to go ahead and move these into the little hut, uh, get them all cleaned up with some acetone and then we're gonna start spraying and we're gonna see how this stuff works man stay tuned alrighty so I got everything wiped down with acetone I'm gonna go ahead and throw a quick coat just over top they say that you should test it but um, on like a smaller area but to be honest we're just gonna send it and see what happens man so I'm wearing my respirator even though it's a million degrees in here safety first so let's see what this stuff can do, man. Alrighty, so there is one can completely on just the back. And as you can see, we still have the whole seat bottom to do. Now, I haven't even opened up the seat to get the inside of the crevices. And if I go through one complete can, pretty much I still have a bit left with one complete can on there. To be honest, we might only have enough for like two coats, if that, on both of these parts. So that kind of sucks. Uh, but luckily with the seat closed, it'll just look black, which is pretty much what I'm going for. Now this is the matte black paint. I could have got a more glossy finish, but 
the seats in the Altima with the SER seats are actually a matte black. So I'm going to go ahead, spray up this piece right here, let them completely dry for about 20 minutes, then come in and uh, give at least as much of a second coat as I can. Okay, so we got a full coat on both the back and the bottom seats. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit blotchy in some areas, so I'm definitely going to have to go over this and do at least one more coat just on that seat cushion there. Uh, so I'm going to let this dry up for about 20 minutes, the can says, between coats. Now, there's a little bit left in there, and we got about a little under a half of a can right there, so I'm hoping I can get at least another coat on the areas that matter most uh, being the side bolsters here as well as the back anything you're going to see when you're looking into the car to be honest otherwise if you're if you're looking that close you're going to obviously find some flaws somewhere um, so once these dry up i'm going to come back in here we're going to throw on another coat and then we're going to see how these things look once they completely cure Alrighty, so first coat is all dried up so what i'm going to do is go over this a second time uh, for starters, I'm going to hit the areas that I think really need it, mainly the headrest and along this back area, as well as the seat. You can see I didn't really put it on thick enough, so we got a little bit of blotchy areas. And then if I have enough left over, we'll finish off with a nice coat on the arms here and stuff like that. It's a million degrees in here. I'm absolutely dying. I feel like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible with a little piece of sweat dripping off of my forehead. But uh, I'm going to go ahead, throw on my paint mask, and we're going to get started with the second coat, man. Alrighty, so second coat is on both front and back and I have to say that second coat made a world of difference as you can see we got nice even coverage here along the seat bottom uh, which is what I ended up doing first and then here the back is still drying but as you can see we have way less blotching along the arms here in the center there's still a little bit but I have a feeling this one here is still drying but wow, man, if this holds up, that is really nice. I like the way that this works on this material. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead, let these dry again for 20 minutes. I have a little bit left here in this last second can, maybe about, oh, I don't know, that much. I'd say around a third. Uh, so when these dry up, I'm gonna come back and just do a couple of areas that I find that need it. Uh, I was thinking of opening up the cup holder and doing the inside, but to be honest, I don't think that I'm going to have enough to completely cover it, so I'd rather have just a line where the spray is rather than have a cup holder that's like halfway done. Same goes for the insides of the seats when you fold them down, but with them being closed, these should look pretty nice, man. Alrighty, so second coat is pretty much dried up. Everything is looking, I'd say, 90% covered. Still have a small section here where we got a little bit of blotchiness. Everything else, though, looking nice and smooth. Uh, now, I'm going to go back, fill in just the cracks a little more. Now, I open this up, 
And to be honest, it kind of sucks having this line right here and then obviously a line up at the top and then the tan cup holders. But these are really rarely going to get used. So I think I'm just not going to worry about it for the time being. If there is somebody back there that has cup holders, I'll just make sure to uh, close them you know when they leave but what I think I'm gonna do is go back with my last little bit of paint cover up any areas that I see that need to be covered but to be honest those are looking super crispy right now I'm pretty excited I was a little bummed out when I realized that I didn't have a spare set of seats for this car and everything else being black and then you know I haven't ridden with the seats in since I did the conversion uh, so it'll be nice to have some nice black seats in there but yeah man let's go ahead and touch these up just a little bit alrighty so camera died in the middle of that time lapse there but we got the third and final coat on these seats right now and to be honest they are looking like pretty much factory as far as the sheen goes I decided to go like I say with the matte as opposed to the gloss just because I felt like the matte was a little closer to what we got going on inside the Ultima but I am gonna let this cure overnight it says that it will fully dry to the touch in one hour but i'm going to give it pretty much all night inside of this tent that way nothing's going to get on it uh it can completely dry and then that way i'll have a better idea as to how durable this stuff is when i'm putting it in the car i'm sure it's going to get bumped around just a little bit but overall, I am really happy with the way these look. I was afraid I was going to have to hunt the guy down and buy my seats back. But for the $30 that I paid for this die, we are definitely still in the positive after selling those SER seats. Alrighty, so it's the next day. Everything is dried up. Um, now, as far as the overall look, I think they really look good. Now one thing I was hoping is that this was going to be more of a dye as opposed to like a paint. But I ended up doing a little test scratch right here on this corner. And you can see, I don't know if I just didn't prep this area good enough, but it didn't stain the leather at all. This is basically just a paint that goes over top. So I don't really know how long it's going to last. The seat bottom here is probably what's going to get a majority of the scratches. It's nice and flexible. I don't know how it's going to be after people are sitting on it after a while. So um, what I think I'm going to do is pull the car up to the tent. I'm going to throw these in the back and we're going to compare them and see how they look compared to the front seats. Alrighty, and there you have it all installed. Everything went in pretty good. Didn't have any uh, scrapage or anything flaking of the paint. And compared to the fronts now, that's looking much more fresh. I'm happy that we were able to do this on the cheap. Now, one thing that I am a little worried about is over time, a lot of people sitting in the back seat, you might get a, a little bit of scuffing or scratching. Like I say, this stuff doesn't actually go into the leather and dye it. It's more of just a, uh, you know, a nice pliable paint that goes over top. As you can see, no major cracking or anything like that just uh just pressing on it with your hand so i'm hoping uh you know with a little bit of care this will last pretty much the life of this vehicle and then again compared these front seats to the back seats i mean you can't even tell there's the perfect amount of just little shine off of both of them so that was definitely a cheap easy fix for not having any black leather seats but i'm thinking i'm probably going to put an end to this video not really sure how long it's going to be uh with all the time lapses and stuff like that but if you guys did enjoy this one don't forget to smash that like button if you guys want to see more and you're not subscribed yet definitely do so uh got some interesting things coming for the ultima as well as the g35 in the next couple of weeks so definitely stay tuned and as always, I'm your boy Dinali, a.k.a. Don Squally. We're going to catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Peace!